Hey guys, my name is Shai, and this is the reading for the week of the Capricorn full moon. <sighs> I already tried starting this video once and I ended up having to stop because my train of thought was apparently not the train I was supposed to be on for this video. <laughs> so I'm going to try again and before I before I say anything this time I'm actually going to get some cards cards. I know I have increasingly this habit of talking first and pulling the cards second, which I kind of find very fun because then when the card confirms what I was saying, that's like extra fun, right? But <laughs> right now I think we need the cards. 7 of pentacles, wheel of fortune. Hi, priestess, baby. Something that you've been waiting for and or working on, something that has been growing for a long time, for a long time. It's about to manifest, but maybe not exactly in the way that you've been thinking. It, it's... This is a materialization, a materialization, which is of course a very Capricorn themed thing. So I like this theme for being for the Capricorn full moon. But this materialization comes through because your perspective is going to shift. Um, yeah, so, you know, Seven of Pentacles, something you've been working on, something you've been waiting on, something you've been growing, something you've had in the oven, right? This is like the beanstalk has been growing and growing and growing and it's almost, it's almost done, right? It's almost done. And the shift in perspective and the materialization of this thing coming through this wheel of fortune and I'm trying to articulate this sense, like this impression I get with this. So I often get these messages about... the clock ticking and it's just like this feeling of you know the hand on a clock and then it it ticks it ticks to the side but this isn't like a minute or even an hour this this is like a galactic clock is the only way i could describe it it's this this um this turning this clicking this ticking this shifting of perspective that happens once every it, it's like the shifting of an age is what it feels like. It's like if the galaxy could have a clock, if the galaxy was a clock, then there would be a click of the galactic hand of the clock. And that's what's happening here. This is the click of the clock, the tick of the talk, <laughs> the tick of the clock. <laughs> it's shifting. And the thing with this is, well, I'm just getting really distracted because I, I have, I'm remembering getting over the last couple of years, getting these kind of messages typically coming through when I was doing readings for people who are have their sun in Capricorn. So that's interesting that this tick of the clock is Capricorn themed. Well, I mean, Capricorn ruled by Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of time and karma. So interesting, interesting. And that now I understand why earlier today I was getting this message about how the Capricorn full moon is going to be like updating our understanding of time, like on a very personal type of level, like you receiving a new way of understanding time. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying, um, this tick of the clock, it, it's like, entering a new age, okay, entering a new age, and just imagine, imagine you've been pointing like this, right, <laughs> you've been pointing that way, and your field of vision is, you know, like that big, right, so you've only been able to see what's between my hands here, you've only been able to see what's over there, so what happens when the clock ticks, well, <laughs> You at the very center of your clock, right? If you're you're the very hub of the clock where all of the the hands on the or the arms on the clock meet, right? You're the center, so you haven't really moved that much. Nothing's really ha much has, has happened to you because you're still in the middle. All you've done is turn. <laughs> you've literally just turned your head. So on the one hand, this is like a galactic shift. This is this massive clicking of this galactic clock. But on the other hand, from your perspective, it can feel like one small step. It can feel like just shifting your perspective ever so slightly, but it's the difference between looking out on whatever's over here and click, seeing what is ever, whatever is over there. So, and that is how things in this sense materialize, because it's not really that they had to materialize, it's that they were literally there, but you just couldn't see them because you were looking over here. You were looking over here, the thing 
that is to be materialized was over here and now suddenly you're looking at it now you can see it now you know it's there now you know it was there the whole time but it's just you weren't able to perceive it before because you were looking somewhere else but as your galactic clock has ticked and clicked into over here now you're literally seeing everything all brand new like you're literally looking at like an entirely different scene you're looking at a new window you're going out a new door it's it's a whole different ball game over here because this click this tick has happened right this tick has happened <sighs> and how's that gonna leave you feeling like the fucking high priestess sitting on your throne right <laughs> I almost don't even have words to this, describe this high priestess. It's like, how, how <laughs> the high priestess is one of those cards that whenever she comes out, it's the challenge of how do I describe her energy today, right? What is it today, today about her energy that, that wants to come forward? Because she is so many things and she can be so many different things depending on who you are, where you're at, what you want, how your energy is. So this high priestess, I think, is going to be a very personal experience. Like you're, you're going to be feeling your own like personal. You don't need to think of it as high priestess if that's not the term that floats your boat, right? This is like feeling your inner power, feeling your inner wisdom, and it's all about your, like your intuition and your 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 sovereignty, right? Your sovereignty in, in this very. It's like sovereignty and wisdom and power that does not come from anything particularly material. It comes from your soul. It comes from the beyond, right? It comes from everything that is that you can't see. So it's interesting. You're clicking into this new paradigm. You're clicking into this new like into this new energy, right? You're clicking into this entirely new experience of energy and you're walking into that new experience of energy as the high priestess. So you're going to know exactly what to do, right? You're, you're going to know, and, and you're going to know moreover that it's not about doing, it's not about doing. You're going to know what to do, but also you're going to know what not to do. And you're going to know that what you need to do is not about doing. <laughs> and that I think, because typically, right, for thinking Capricorn full moon, typically Capricorn energy is a lot about doing, but when it's a Capricorn full moon that is coming up out of the waters of cancer season, right? So you have this balance, the full moons balance out the energy of the season that they're in, right? And they always happen in an opposite sign. So we have cancer season with this, we've been in our feelings, they've been in the watery vortex and out of that is to balance that out is coming this materialization of something. And this sense of timing, perception of time, and this, this inner power that comes from experience, this inner power that comes from experience. I would even say that cancer energy it could be like, does anybody like William Blake, right? The songs of innocence and the songs of experience <laughs> to some extent, right? To some extent, this analogy will not go the whole way, but to some extent you could say that the songs of innocence are like cancer energy and the songs of experience are like Capricorn energy, right? To a certain extent. So we have this balancing out. So that's why I, I'm saying that it's like Capricorn will have learned the part of you that wants to do, 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 the part of you that wants to go, 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 the part of you that wants to work, 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 struggle, 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 keep a schedule, micromanage, control, <laughs> kind of all of those lower Capricorn frequencies, right? All of those lo lower frequencies of Capricorn energy. They're like, they're like clicking out. It's like when your clock ticks and now you're over here, it's, it's like you're no longer looking at the lower frequencies of Capricorn energy. You've somehow risen out of them and you balance them out with your... like your inner waters, like the inner crystalline waters of your soul is, is, is how, the only way I can describe this. So if I were to try to get more specific and say something in a, like on a human 3D type of level here, I would say this Capricorn full moon is literally going to bring you some kind of manifestation, a materialization of something you've been working on for a long time. And it's going to make you feel really empowered. And it's going to set you up to feel your power, right? And you're going to feel you're going to feel good. <laughs> You're going to feel like you know your path. 
you're gonna feel like you know yourself and that you know your path. But you know, that that's just the, the human level experience of this, the deeper level experience. The deeper experience of this is like an actual, an actual no shit, like, I'm hearing like shift in your galactic programming, shift in your galactic programming, your galactic code. It, this is like a complete, like, systems upgrade. It's, it's like installing an update on the your phone, right? This, this is like, this is like something that has been a long time coming. This has been a long time coming. And for some, it can feel like finally getting their head up about the water. For some, I'm seeing like coming up out of the deep, dark waters. And for some, it's like coming up out of chaos into this type of stability. For others, it's like coming up out of kind of like a plateau or some boredom into like the next leg of your journey. So it's wherever you're at, it's this shifting and this, this moving and this entirely new perspective. Oh, I had the whole deck upside down. Um, oh shit. What did I, what was I just saying? <laughs> what was I just saying about, um, an update or a shift? It's more like a shift. That's what this is about. Um, I think, I think there's this energy of, think of it as a shift and not an update. Think of it as a shift and not an upgrade because this, this language of updating and upgrading, that's kind of linear, right? But it's really, it's not, it's like going around the spiral and click, click, tick, talk, right? Tick, talk around the spiral. So we're ticking into a new phase of our galactic codes, right? Codes of the seeds. The blueprint is within you. Take the next step. I'm actually, this is going to be a shorter reading. I had a feeling it was going to be because Capricorn doesn't want to waste your time, right? Capricorn cares about time. <laughs> so maybe that's why the Capricorn full moon reading is going to be a little shorter. It's just going to be these cards. I'm going to read you this and that's going to be it. <sighs> wow. I always have to laugh. I can't, I can't even like think of the alphabet when I'm in the headspace for a reading. <laughs> so I found it. Okay. Seeds come in knowing exactly what to do. Within them, they hold the potential of entire forests and rose gardens. Seeds have within them an intelligent timing that's connected with the intelligence of the cosmos. We're all seeds, future forests and gardens waiting to be born. With, we each hold the codes of a new humanity within us. Change is our natural state. Seeds must be buried in the darkness before they can bloom into the light. Seeds can't even begin to bloom without embracing the fertile void of winter soil. They can't flower without outgrowing the constraints of the bud. They can't bear fruit without releasing their beauty to the earth and letting go of the very thing about them that captivated others. This card delivers the message that within you, you have all you need to create what you're destined to create, to move through everything that life delivers and to navigate your way through any terrain. The blueprint has always been seated within you. Trust that you have within you the codes for the most glorious rose garden waiting to bud and bloom. Trust those codes, remember that blueprint. All you need to do now is take the next step and tomorrow, take the next. If you continue taking baby steps each day, on a day not too far from today, you'll look back and discover the most breathtaking garden of roses all around you. And then the fruit will follow. Today, just take the next step. You know what to do. The blueprint is encoded within you. What's your soul calling you to do? What's one baby step you can take? Okay, and I don't know if you guys could hear my kitten meowing outside the door the whole time, but here he is. He's gotten so big. He's so big now. <laughs> His name is Trouble. Trouble, Trouble, come say hi. I've only had him for two weeks and he's already doubled in size. <laughs> I just thought he wanted to come say hello. And I know that everyone could use some beautiful kitty cat magic from this little kitten guy. Yes. <laughs> All right. I love you guys. Happy full moon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.